What's the value of a Google review to you? It might not seem like much, but a simple review on the world's top search engine site can be the difference if you're at the top of the page or the bottom of the search engine page. And that can make a huge difference when people are looking for you or your company. Gaining new reviews is a proven way to not only increase your visibility, but also your ROI. Let's take a look. Trevor Riggs here, and welcome to the Art of Local Marketing. And on this podcast, we will learn how to navigate the marketing jungle for your local business. Marketing and advertising for your local business is changing, and we need to find creative ways to get the word out about our products and services. We need to develop mad skills and to evolve to survive this ever-changing market in order to stay relevant in the digital age. I can help. This podcast can help. And I'm glad that you found us. So just like the last episode, let's look at some numbers to see how important reviews are to your shoppers. There are over 30,000 reviews posted about businesses every minute on Google. The fact is 90% of consumers read online reviews before visiting the business. And 88% of consumers trust online reviews as much as a personal recommendation. And 92% of shoppers will shop at a business that has a four-star or higher rating first. But 82% will look for and hesitate to shop with a business that has negative reviews. And 68% of all shoppers will give you a good review if you ask. So what does that really mean to you? I mean, when I look at a lot of people's business, they have one or two reviews, maybe three or four, maybe five. And it seems like they really don't, I don't know, they, you just don't actively pursue reviews in a structured way. So when people shop, they're trying to figure out if you're the right business or you're not the right business to uh be shopping with. So they look at your reviews and your business has five or seven or 10. And the fact is, is most people, I think a lot of people that really, really like you or want to do business with you or do business with you over and over and over again, they don't leave reviews. The people that leave reviews usually are people that have some kind of a gripe or they're mad at you for whatever reason. They just those are the people who leave reviews. So basically what happens is a business has a bunch of reviews and it's not by their best customers. And so the biggest majority of people that are shopping online that don't know you look at your reviews and they're getting a bad impression of your business and how you go about doing business. So here's the cure. The cure is to actively seek new reviews and do it all the time. Do it with every customer. So here's a couple of ways that I go about getting reviews. And when I started at my current job, we had a total of 13 reviews. This was two years ago. The store that I work for has been open for, oh, I believe 21 years or something like that, 20 years. And They've been very successful. They're a great store. Everybody likes them. 13 reviews. And I asked him, I said, well, why in the world do you only have 13 reviews out of all the I mean, hundreds and hundreds of people that they've dealt with? And the bottom line was they just didn't ever ask for them. So I asked him, I said, well, why did you why don't you never ask for a review? And he sat there for a, quite a while and looked at me and he's like, you know, I just don't know. And so I took it upon myself to find out what the effect of reviews would have on our business over the next couple of years. We've been doing it for a couple of years now. and We went from 13 in the first 18 years to over 500 in the last two years. And our traffic has increased by 30 to 40 percent. And the people that walk on to our showroom, they say that they've looked up those reviews. They seen what other people have said. And 
it's made a huge difference, especially when you get that customer, the, you know, the one guy that you could never make happy no matter what you did leaves you a terrible review. Well, he's one out of 13 or now he's one out of 500. So our reviews are well over four stars and it takes a really, really, it would take a lot of really bad reviews. We'd have to start doing something really terrible to make our reviews go down low enough to where it would really make much of a difference. So here's my plan. This is this is how I did it. This is how I went from 13 to 500 in two years. And it was it was very simple. Step one, the first thing that you need to do to get more reviews is ask your customers at the time of service. Hey, can you leave me a review on Google? And nine out of 10 times, they're going to say, yes, they will. And probably seven, maybe eight out of 10 times, they won't do it. So you have to make the the process of going from you asking to them actually giving you a Google review, a real simple process. And the best way to do that is to get the link from Google My Business, like I was talking to in the last episode. You can get the link and say, hey, if you really enjoyed the service, you know, say you're you're a lawn service. Hey, if I did a great job on your lawn, you mind giving me a review? Can I send you a link? And then they'll say yes. And you text them that link. And if you do that when you're standing right in front of them and make sure they get the link nine out of 10 times, they're going to leave you a five star review. It works almost 100 percent of the time. Then since it's impossible to ask 100% of the time. The next thing you do is you make sure that you're collecting the email address when you do business with your customers. And that email is important for dozens of reasons. I mean, I'll go into that later in other episodes about email list building and why you want to do it. But the next thing you do is you send them an email and you thank them for their business. So, hey, thank you for uh, having me cut your hair. I really appreciate it. Hey, can you leave me a review on Google and you put in the link? Your chances of getting another good Google review, it's probably 65 to 70 percent. And now the third and probably final way for me to get a review on Google for my customers is hopefully I have their name and their address. And you cannot imagine in today's digital age what a 50 cent stamp will do. Just write them a handwritten thank you note. Hey, thank you for your business. I appreciate your your time. Could you please leave me a review on Google? Drop it in the mail. And it's like magic. I get a review from a handwritten postcard almost 100% of the time. And the reason for that is because people think that you care and hopefully you do care. Hopefully you want these folks to come back and do more business and you want their friends to look to see where they're shopping and what they're doing and they want to get treated the same way. And then what I do with those reviews is I post them on my social media. I put them on Facebook, Instagram, and then I leverage all those good reviews and all my hard work and I sell more. And our business has increased by about 40 to 50 percent on our online traffic over the last two years. And basically it was all done with Google reviews. So asking for a simple review can work wonders for your brand. The way you market your brand is important, but having people talk about you is a great way to enhance your message. By encouraging positive conversations about your brand, you can quickly and clearly improve your marketing efforts and make more money and have more fun. 
Thanks for checking out this episode. I hope you got a ton of value from it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Art of Local Marketing Show wherever you're watching or listening. And it would mean the world to me if you would rate and review this show on Apple Podcast. And as I grow this podcast, we encourage you to share it with your friends. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next podcast.